G'day guys, welcome back. I'm going to do a uh, split cup uh, spin pour for you. <clears throat> and I'm gonna pour over this bloom that I did. I um, used the, look at my fingers, oh my gosh. <laughs> I used the comb on the edges. I wanted some white negative space, but in hindsight, I don't, don't really like it. So I'm gonna pour over it rather than waste another canvas. Um, now, I'm kind of going for rainbow colours, but um, not all of them because I've only got six compartments and I want black. So that would be eight. So we're going to go with six. Um, pouring medium is this one, the one I use for the ring pours. The 70% Elmer's glue oil, 30% water. And then I've added a splash of GAC 800 to each of my colours as well just to help them flow a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer my colours first and then I'm going to paint or cover the surface with black. I think I need to do it this way so I can see what I'm doing. So red and yellow, green, blue, purple and black. Um, so I'm going to layer them in the cup and then I'll cover my canvas with black. Now the black is three parts pouring medium to one part paint because I want it nice and thin. The others are one to one, like I said, and then I added the extra splash of golden just to make it a bit thinner. So the paints are the Montmartre, these guys. Uh, the red there is this brilliant red. The blue is deep cyan. The green, oh, it's over there on the shelf. It's called light green. Um, the yellow is, uh, what's the yellow? I think I used, oh no, this, there's two different yellows. There's the lemon yellow, I didn't use that one. I used the medium yellow. It's, it's a bit less bright, that one, medium yellow. Um, and then the purple's purple so, and black. So there we go, no white. I was thinking about adding white, but I don't have enough compartments. So now if you go back and have a look, I'll try and remember to add the link, but if I don't, go back and have a look at my other spin pour where I added the link of where you can get these guys. Um, so yeah, I'll try and remember to add it, but if I don't, have a little look. Right, so I'm gonna start. I'm gonna go red first. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do two layers. So, I put half, half my red in there. I think that's half. And then yellow. You know, keeping in mind what the colours are going to do when they're next to each other. Oops, we're moving. Green. So the red and the yellow will make orange, which I don't mind. That'll be nice. Um, and then the blue. Stop moving! Stop! Just got it on my um, cake turntable. And then the purple. And then of course the black. I like the black on the outside. Oh, a lump. Oh my gosh, lumps just went in. Why? Why lumps? Okay, so now I'm going to start again with the layering, but this colour here, instead of going in the first, I'm just going to move over one and do it in the second little compartment. Like so. And then... Um, what have I got in there? No, I started with red. Okay, no, yep, that's right. It's yellow next. Oh my gosh. Yellow. So the same order, but just moving on. Moving one on. I've got a little bit of paint left. Obviously made a bit too much. And then the green. Stop moving. <laughs> Stop moving. You're doing my head in. Make sure we're still taping. 
Yep. Um, and then the blue. Oh, it just wants to spin. It's getting impatient. It just wants to do it, don't you? Just want to do it. Well, I'm not ready for you yet. And then the purple. The purple's going on top of the black there. And then the black over here again on top of the red. I'm going to add a splash of water. It just seems a bit thick. Black's always thicker, aren't they, I think? I don't know why. I did add a little bit less black because I knew it was going to be thick, but it just feels thicker anyway. All right. There we go. Okay. So that's that done. That's all my colours out. Now, actually, got a little bit of little bit of room for the more red there it's settled a little bit might as well use it up probably don't need all this paint actually <laughs> that's a lot I was only going to do four colors and then at the last minute I thought oh what about rainbow colors and then I didn't have enough colors enough um yeah I had to make up more colors which means more paint so probably going to have too much paint now right let's move that off to the side oh it's heavy those cups hold uh 18 ounces which is about 500 grams of mixed paint i don't know if i'll need all of that let's just push this out goodbye painting underneath You are, I think if you're going to use um, another can, like a, a pre-used canvas, it is better to use it when it's still wet because it can crack. I'm just warning you. I'm just doing this because I'm making a video. I'm not terribly fussed if it's going to crack or not. But just be aware that if you're going to pour over something that has dried, it may crack. All right, there we go. It's nice and smooth. I won't worry about doing the actual edges at the moment because I want to get on and pour. Now, <clears throat> let me just make sure that we're still taping. Yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a ring pour in an anti-clockwise motion. And I'm going to move the canvas in an anti-clockwise motion as well instead of going opposite like spinning that way and then turning this way i'm going to do them both anti-clockwise all right here we go so try and get nice and close to the surface I'm going to try and like do a little bit of a wonder. Oh, there goes a blob. I'm going to concentrate so I might not talk too much. Don't laugh. I know I talk a lot. And you're going to watch what the back of your cup's doing because you don't want to... Like scratch the back of your cup onto your paint so be careful of that too now I don't want to cross that black line there I want to keep that black see what the rest of it's looking like <laughs> I might come this way a little bit I haven't really stayed in the middle have I that's okay 
It's a bit of a wandering pull. Whoa, come back. Now, see, I'm way over there. I'm going to have to reach. <laughs> paint's going off the edge. I'm trying to get it to tilt this way a little bit. I don't know what I'm doing here guys. I'm just <laughs> trying to get the paint to stay on the canvas. I think I moved a little bit much, didn't I? That's okay. I'm just sort of trying to tilt this canvas to stop the paint from flowing off. Nearly done. Takes a while. Hope I haven't lost too much paint. Okay, quickly come back. Just going to move it back to the center a little bit. Oh my gosh. All right. I've got some double sided tape on the back of my, oh, on my, my turntable just to um, stop the canvas flying. So that's why I didn't really want to move too much. Oh my gosh, look at the colours. Do we have to tilt? Do we have to? Um, all right. Now, let's see if we're still taping. Make sure we're still taping. Wouldn't it be awful if you missed that? Oh my gosh, those colours. <gasps> now, there was a blob in here. I went in with the black. All right, let's give it a little spin. Just a little one. Mm, shouldn't stop it like that because it goes jerk, jerk, jerk. Wow, this is... <gasps> Wow, 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 look at that. That's where I've had my finger in there. Okay, let me get, get my hands clean and I'm going to see if I can pick out that little blob. I can see one. Oh, that is so pretty. I don't want to lose my little whirlpool here off the end. Love it, I love it, I love it. Now, picking things out can always be a bit tricky because you can mess up your painting instead of making it worse. But that's a big blob. Oh, I guess it's not too bad. If for some reason it does get messed up, um, you can get a, a bamboo skewer and just, well, make sure it's pointy one. That's not very pointy. It's got, it's had resin on it, so it's kind of gone stumpy. But get a, get a pointy one and just, um, you know, you can continue your lines like that. If you need to, but um, it's not it's not too bad. Hopefully, no one will notice. Don't tell anyone, all right? Okay, now I'm going to put a little bit of black on this corner. I am going to spin it probably once more. Um, to tell you the truth, I don't mind having the black on the corner, but here where this stripe is against the black that's a bit much so I will spin it one more time just to try and get the paint over the edges and I saw something else mm, it's in there but uh, yeah I'm, I'm gonna leave it because Am I? Am I going to leave it? What is it? Let's have a look. Oh, that's my stumpy skewer. It looks as if it starts all the way up here and then goes down. All right, now I'm just going to leave it. I might even end up spinning that off. But I don't want to spin off this whirlpool here, so I'm just going to tilt it back. So hopefully the paint will fly off other areas rather than off there. Right, let's give it a little spin. Just enough to move. I think that's it. I think we're off. Are we off? Mm, see that? That's that thing there that I was telling you about. There's something in there. So, 
so important not to have any lumps or bumps in your painting, in your paint when you're doing this technique because it mm, it really, really shows up. Okay. Um, now what can we do to fix this area here? If you're not bothered by it, it doesn't really matter. You could just leave it. Otherwise, you can just... I might spin it again just to get that off and, and this little corner here that I don't particularly like. Um, all right. One more time. Play it again, Sam. I don't know if anything's moving. <laughs> And I'm going to try and let it just stop on its own because if I hit the push pin underneath and it's going to jar it like that, then I end up with a like a, a wriggly line instead of a nice smooth line. But if you can sort of touch the bottom of the canvas without without banging the push pins, you can sort of slow it down a little bit. Wow. Okay, that's me done. And I've kept my whirlpool. Oh, and I love that black through the center. Oh God, I've just tripped. Typical, I tell you guys, don't, don't do that. Like don't put your drippy hands over the top and I just did it. Mm. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna edit that out. Well, not edit it out, but in paint, you know. Edit it out. I can't believe I did that. All right, I'm going to leave it. I'm just going to crop it when I take my photo. You won't mind, will you? I'm, I'm not really keeping this painting. Alrighty. Shall we go in for a little close-up? What do you think of it? I know it's not like a, you know, a really curly-whirly type one, but they're all different. Every time you do one of these, they're different. Turn that bright light off. And there's my rainbow. A rainbow whirlpool. Okay, look at that. What you could do, what you could do, what you could do is just give that a bit of a, a swirl there. Oops. Just to kind of accentuate that circle. There's nothing wrong with doing that. I think that looks better. I haven't even noticed that before I went in for a close-up. But that looks better. So you can do that with your stick. I think white probably would have looked really nice in here as well. Look at that. It looks as if it's pouring down like into a waterfall, doesn't it? looks very 3D. It goes on the top there flat and then it goes wee, looks as if it's all pouring down a, a waterfall. Oh, I'll try not to get the glare. Love the black in the center. I've got a few little naughty cells popping up. Naughty, naughty little cells. Have a look at the side. The side's really pretty. You like that? Let me know in the comments what you think, if you like it or not. I love it. Love it, love it. Except for the drip. I'll just take that out when I take the photo. <laughs> it's sneaky, isn't it? But I want it to look really pretty. Okay. Thanks for watching. I'll leave it at that. Um, I will do more of these because they're so much fun. I might try these colours again at some stage with some white um, and just do a little, a different sort of a, a shape with it. Because even though you have in your mind what you want to do, once you start 
you know, turning your, your cup, you're doing your ring pour, <laughs> it just does what it wants to do. Yeah, seriously, especially when you've got a, a canvas that's moving around. It just just does its own thing. So pretty. Oh, love it. Okay, I'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching yet again. Love you all. Stay safe. And uh, I'll see you for the next video. Bye for now.